Hey everybody, I want to give you a tip, the last tip I thought would be helpful. So let's go into it. So you guys remember this, you know, refresh, reboot, that one of the things you want to do is develop our questions to say to what extent, because a lot of times they can help bring nuance into the paper, allow you to argue a little bit both sides. Make sure you explain how so, in other words, prove, and make sure you cite the text to do so. And then develop the answer fully. So the fully develop the answer, so what, across the whole essay. I definitely landed at the end um, as to where and how you argue for significance or implications. That's what so what implies. Um, you can do it a little bit everywhere, right? A little bit of purpose, if you will. Let's look at this, though. This is the third model. So we had this model. We know flipping the script, that means go against an assumption, flip it. You can even do that somewhere in the body of the text, of course. It doesn't have to be a full essay, right? Just, just that idea, like share an assumption. Many people hold and you flip it. That's great. Uh, cascade of questions. Again, it's only a cascade of a couple questions and then some insinuations in between, right? Maybe some rhetorical questions. And so don't, don't clobber it with too many, for sure, if you go this route. Uh, and this one, easy does it. Let's go through here. What I'm wondering about is... I want to go with a really, really easy option for y'all because I think this might help get you out of the weeds for a few of you because I think in general, it's awesome for inquiry in general. Um, did I say in general? I said in general. Indeed, share what point hits you from a source, in this case, one of the films. <clears throat> so whatever the, the coursework that you're doing, think about, let's be honest, let's try to say, what about me does this, does this evoke? And that was that question we kind of went after that one day after we looked at uh, the Dawn Wall. But what, what hits you, what really honestly hits you, what really, if you will, resonates or sits you as strange, sometimes it's something that you saw again and again in the film, sometimes it's a binary meaning attention, sometimes it's just idiosyncratic, it's just something that seems to line up with your, your life where you're at at this moment. But sharing that point and kind of just letting it be very explicit and maybe backing it up with a few details right away, and then simply follow with a paragraph or maybe even in that same first paragraph, a little bit of why, right? And then we're going to develop, of course, that later as well. But the logic is, here's what hit me, here's why, here's how. And the combination between those three can flip in different iterations. I mean, I'm, I have no problem with you saying share a point, share a little bit of how it, it kind of developed for you or why it's developing for you. So the how and why kind of often come together, but the how gets into the explanation, the why gets into the purpose. So maybe both those. What point hits you? Share why. Explain how. And then here's the push. This is what we want to do if we can get into this essay. Share what that point makes you wonder about. So let's say, for example, something that hits you, right? Um, oh, the octopus intelligence. And that hits a lot of us, right? Wow, these creatures are really, really smart. Share why it hits you. I didn't know. A lot of us don't, right? Share how. Well, I saw over and over, and you can give examples at that point, how that you know, octopus is very, very intelligent. Share what that makes you wonder about. I wonder if a lot of other creatures in the ocean or in areas of the world that are underexplored are also very intelligent. Uh, and then you explore and explain that, maybe with a source, maybe just by thinking out loud a little further about it. Uh, share something else that point makes you wonder about. Well, I wonder even if plants have intelligence and if we're underrating that. So thinking in through that, again, in this case, probably going to invite some a little bit of source work. If you don't have to, again, for this essay, please hear that. But sometimes it helps you think out loud and kind of will chase a little bit of answers for your question as well as you're sharing through. But the point is you're sharing the process. You're sharing the process of what you're seeing and you're trying to, if you will, go down two layers into your thinking process, what that makes you wonder about, and then something else makes you wonder about. And here you see the shift. The shift is the yet. And the yet qualifies the claim. Yet. Um, in this case, with intelligence, we might say, yet to what extent do we overrate intelligence in general? And is that really the, the way that we should look at animals? And why is it we do? And maybe we're exploring that a little bit there. So we're adding a qualifier. We're adding a new way to look at our claim and maybe even challenge our claim slightly, you know, almost bringing in a counterclaim, saying, okay, well, let's work it a little bit. Um, that can go a couple paragraphs. All of these can kind of be just a few sentences or paragraphs. And lastly, possibly counter what you just shared. I should say lastly, I've got one more. Possibly counter what you shared. I mean, sometimes it's just qualifier, right? Hey, I don't know why we value intelligence so much. We should value something else a little more. 
let's look at other accoutrements. Do we just value a creature because it can smile back at us? Looks like our face, if you will. And a lot of people have said that before. Uh, but what else could we expand to? Would we be able to look at a creature for perhaps its aesthetics? You know, uh, what about it as, if you will, the Fibonacci curve, which is a very famous algorithm that they've determined, like the shells um, of some beautiful, beautiful uh, conch shells have got that Fibonacci curve. It's a ratio it, mathematically that determines beauty. And you'll see it in a lot of different, a lot of different things. Uh, different plants have that same kind of curve with the way the leaves look and all that. Anyway, go and all there with an example, but uh, here we go. Close by answering one or more of these questions. This is really important, guys. And again, you'll see the reiteration of the theme across all these examples, right? Number one, why does this matter? So what, right? That's the other way to say it. Answer the question, so what? Or just simply say, why does this matter? Who does it matter for? What are some implications of your point? So if we valued intelligence of creatures, well, that might change the way we do conservation. Uh, if we valued other things like aesthetics, that might change and bring up a discussion of how important is that for us to have something beautiful? And lastly, what other related ideas does your discussion possibly raise for us? And now you're kind of making it a, an us moment, possibly. It's a cool move to make. Like, you can do this or not do this. It's a little more of a way of kicking out some further thought. Like, hey, if, uh, if we were to take this further, maybe we need to explore X, Y, Z. Or you can just end with a, a series of two or three questions. They can kind of be cool, add the mystery, kind of compel us to think, ah, oh, yeah, future research or more stuff to think about. All right, that's it. La tita. Let's see if I can get out of this here. Uh, all right, guys, take care.